Welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda. Today we're very excited to have Lindy Ortega with us. That's me. It is you. <laughs> all the way from Canada. That's Congratulations. Right. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Your Thanks second for having time me. in Auckland. That's right. You're yeah. a regular now. It's I, fantastic. Yeah, I hope to be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're playing down at the Tuning Fork. Yeah. We've got you playing a couple of songs. And I spoke to you a couple of, uh, about a week ago on yeah. the phone. And you were in the studio working on new stuff. I was. So it's been about a year since you were here last time. Lots of stuff has happened. A lot of things have happened in my life. You had the EP come out and then you're working on a new record and mm -hmm. attitude change. So just fill people in on what's going on with you. Yeah, well, I mean, I was at a crossroads last year in December. Um, I was thinking I might just throw in the towel and do something else for a living. And What would you do? I don't know, like maybe be an air crash investigator oh, or a you storm watch the chaser. TV show? I do. It's I'm fantastic. obsessed with it. it. I actually can pretty much quote every single episode. I watched two yesterday. Yeah, which <laughs> ones? Uh, there was one where uh, the, they were flying to Singapore mm. and suddenly the plane just went straight up in the air oh. and then straight down again. Oh, they find out the pilot pushed the wrong button. Oh, he pushed the wrong button. He'd seen one oh, of the I maintenance actually, guys doing that, uh, and then yes. he thought he'd fix it. Yes. It shouldn't do it while you're flying, apparently. Yes, I actually, I've seen that one, <laughs> and I know which one you're talking about. And yes, the maintenance guy, they weren't supposed to do that no, in the air. No. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so you think you could uh, be an air crash investigator? I would, I mean, I mean, obviously it would be morbid, but um, I think the, the upside to that is that people that investigate those crashes um, ultimately help save lives because right. they figure out what what caused it and they don't want it to ever happen again. Yeah. So that's what I love about the program yeah. is that it's so it really gets to the nitty gritty of it's what actually caused it yeah. and there's usually like multiple things that it's all it's really kind of all up. forensics, right? Yeah. So, so yeah. Very good. But anyway, back to music. So you you haven't become an air crash investigator. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're making more music. So what caused you to come to that conclusion? To um, potentially give up music no, to or to come back. To, um, well, I just, I just sort of retooled the way I was, was doing it. So the business of it, I guess. Uh -huh. And, um, I just kind of felt like it was, I was at a point where I wanted to, either I was going to, you know, put music out myself or I wasn't going to put music out at all. So, um, I decided that I wanted to put out music myself uh -huh. and not, not go through any sort of label or anything. So. And that seems to be and working. And then it just was empowering for me to, yeah, to own my own masters, my own recordings, and uh, put them out on my own imprint. And it, I thought, well, either I'm going to crash and burn, no pun intended, <laughs> yes. or uh, or maybe I'll I'll uh, figure out a way to stay afloat. And I figured out a way. So you're still floating. Still floating. Excellent. <laughs> so the first song we're going to hear is called "Waiting on My Luck to Change," which yeah. seems to be kind of self. Prophecy. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. That one is off my Tin Star record, and um, it, it's actually funny you bring up flying because it really is related to the fact that I fly a lot, mm -hmm. and I always notice that no matter how horrible the weather is on the ground, once you get above the clouds, it's beautiful and blue skies and sunny. So yeah. I thought it was a great metaphor for um, turning things around. Cool. All right, let's give it a listen. above the clouds I left my trouble down on the ground and now I'm sailing on the sunshine waiting on my luck to change down below it's just trouble and pain all I know is the cold and the rain and now I'm bouncing in the blue skies waiting on my to change I've had the same bad luck for far too long always singing the same sad song now it feels like I'm moving along waiting on my luck to change Always sunny up above the clouds Ain't no 
darkness gonna hang around because the devil is hell bound it's looking like my luck is gonna change i've had the same bad luck for far too long always singing the same sad song now it feels like i'm moving along waiting on my luck to change Change. Okay, we're back here with Lindy Ortega at the 13th floor. You now have Twig with you, I see. You made friends. I made a friend, a cat friend. Yeah. I made a cat friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the music that you're working on currently that is going to come out at some point in the... How, how would you describe that? Is it anything different from what you've been doing before? I think it's very different. How so? Um, well, I mean, this re the new record is um, more of a concept album, and there's a, a character that I follow along on a journey, uh -huh. and I catered sort of the songs to this character's journey. And um, yeah, I, I use chords, that, weird chords that I've never used before, and um, a lot of it was inspired by spaghetti westerns and like Mexican ranchero music and and rock, and it's very different. But I think it's like, you know, it's still uh, would be something that I think anyone who's into Americana music or country music would understand. And right, it's not a huge depart. I'm not doing like polka or anything. <laughs> I wonder if polka would be considered <laughs> Americana. <laughs> it's very American. It's kind of scary, but uh, do you think about that though in the back of your head that you don't want to kind of uh, alienate the fans that you have already while well, still yeah, trying to do no, something else? Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to alienate. I wouldn't ever do anything that <laughs> um, was just completely like different to what I. I mean, I, I make the music that I make, and it's inspired by music that I love and it will always be you know I guess somewhat country um, yeah. I would never call myself a straight-up country artist in any way but um, I do love a lot of southern music and it's it tends to come out in what I create and I think that'll always be the case right that's how you recorded it Muscle Shoals at one point I recorded yeah. it I've recorded there I've recorded Nashville I've recorded in Toronto. What's next? Maybe hey. New Zealand. <laughs> hey, we got a studio right around the corner. It's fantastic. All right, the the, the other song that we're going to hear is the title track to the EP, "Till the Going Gets Gone." Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about that before we hear it? That was sort of an anthem that I wrote mostly for myself, but I feel like anybody with any sort of dream or trying to you know follow their bliss could uh, relate to it because it's sort of a journey, and um, it was to to help me to remind myself why I must keep going and doing what I'm doing. And it's sort of the phases of, of um, like at first you kind of feel like you're spinning your wheels and then you feel like you're constantly uh, traveling and um, you don't know if it's ever gonna like end. And then I think the last sort of verse is sort of coming to terms with it. And then you, you hopefully end up on a road you can feel content it's about a being on a, a road, of, road of life. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's literal, but for some people, it's just like the road of life. So at the end of the road of life, you want to be sort of content where you're at. And that's sort of the goal of the song at the end. Fantastic. Well, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Look forward to hearing it and good luck with the, the new album. Thank you very much. spinning I ain't getting anywhere it's been driving me into the ground gonna bury my bones there and I hope someday they find me see that I was on my way when I lay down by the side of the road where I made my grave oh I gotta keep going gotta keep going on from the dead of night to the 
the break of the early dawn Yeah, I gotta keep going, gotta keep going on Keep on going, little darling, till the going gets gone Oh. 